Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a quiz on Kahoot. Now, if you are new to Kahoot, it's a great platform which can be used in the workplace. It can be used at home with friends and family. There are many different use cases. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a Kahoot. And I'm going to show you generally how to use some of the tools that they have to help you create templates. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is jump onto kahoot.it and you will find yourself here on this page. So on the top right hand side, you will see a create button as well as the create button under the let's get started. Both buttons will do the exact same thing. And from here, you get the opportunity to either create from a PDF, you can also generate questions and then there are some pre-made templates which you can go ahead and create from that template. So you can change everything, you can edit everything about the actual template, including all the questions and answers. But what we want to do today is go into the blank canvas on the right hand side. Now this is what the interface looks like and what you're going to be doing here potentially is creating a masterpiece. So right up at the top you can see it says start typing your question and here's where you will input the actual question of your quiz. OK, on the left hand side over here, you can see these are all of your questions. So you can go ahead and you can add a question or you can add a slide. Once you are done with your question, you can go ahead and insert media. They've got tons of media in their media library. And then you have the opportunity to add your answers. Now you can add more than just these standard four answers. And then the answers come in text form. And then as you can see on the right hand side, you can add an image as your answer as well. Now, if you're struggling to find ways of generating valuable questions, what I like to use is my copilot. Now I'm running on Windows 11 and I have the copilot just over here. Now what I've actually done and you can do this and then you can just customize the questions. So I've asked, give me 10 trivia questions with four potential answers, mark the correct answer and put it in the following format. All right. So that's exactly what I got. So if I just click three times on this, I can copy this and I'm going to use control C and I can put it in over here. All right. Now you can go ahead and you can copy these answers just in over here underneath the answers. Now, what it does also give you is a few suggestions from their image library. OK, so let's just say, for example, we're going to put this in over here. You can actually use any one of the chatbots um, of choice. Maybe you want to use ChatGPT. Maybe you want to use perplexity. It's all pretty much the same. It just depends on what you would prefer to use. OK, so I've got my answers in here now. And what we're going to do is we can now start customizing our questionnaire. So at the top, we can add an image. OK, so you hit the plus button and you can actually upload an image from your device. OK, you can use GIFs, you can use videos and you can also use audios. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to just type in France at the top because that's what my question is about. And you can use any one of these pictures over here. So I'm going to use this very first one. I'm just going to click on that. And here you can see when this question appears, this is the image that will appear with it. OK, on the right hand side, there are some options for this image. You can have the full image. You can also have it pop up in a three by three grid. As you can see the preview, this is what it will look like. You can also do it in a five by five grid. And you can also do it in an eight by eight grid. So depending on how difficult your question is, maybe you don't want to go all the way up to um, eight by eight. You maybe just want to have a three by three block. And as your question is um, being presented, you can have this display itself block by block in its grid. On the right hand side, you can also change your question type. So let's say we're done with this question. We can just say add question. Uh, one of the other things that you need to do is just make sure that you're selecting the correct answer. So of course, we're going to select Paris and we are going to say add question. So again, just like the question type on the top right hand side, you can choose what type of question you would like to put in here. It can be anything from true or false to a typed out answer. 
uh, in the form of sliders, a pin answer, a type of puzzle, and then a quiz with an audio. And as you go down over here, there are a couple other options. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and keep it on quiz, and you can add another question in there. You can, again, just change that up if you would like to, and then you have the potential to change the time limit on each one of your questions. You can also give it a point system, so you can have like a standard point system, double points, so um, the correct answer gets twice as many points, and then you can just have it a no point at all kind of quiz. You can also go ahead and if there are multiple options in terms of the correct answer, you can select over here either a single select or a multi select. And that will allow you to just if there are more than one answer that is correct in your question to select more than one. So what we can go ahead now and do is tap on save on the top right hand side. You are going to give it a name and you are going to give it an optional description. You can say continue. It's now validating your Kahoot. And we're gonna just go ahead, close this because we don't need the pro version to actually create these questionnaires. And your question is now done, okay? So what you can do is go back to the homepage by clicking on the K360 up at the top. And you can see over here, under your folders in library on the left hand side you will see all of your questionnaires all of your quizzes that you have created now if this was a helpful guide please go ahead drop us a like share some of your questionnaires with us and we'll see you next time peace